not She's getting married. Yes. Are we alive, motherfuckers? Are we alive? Yes. Yes. my life with. You're my best friend. I love how you see the world with nothing but positivity and optimism. You're the kindest person I've ever known and you show me to love harder than I ever thought possible. Most of all, I love how your joy has become so contagious I can't help but feel it too. I promise you my unconditional love. I promise to not ask you to be more than who you are and to love you for being exactly yourself. Victoria, my life began the moment you walked into it. There's not a single person in this world like you. You're my dream girl and my best friend, and I want nothing more than to live by your side forever. to others and show love is something I've always admired. You're the most beautiful person inside and out. You're the most kind-hearted and thoughtful woman I have ever met. I think back to the first time I ever saw you. You jumped right in front of me with that beautiful smile and said, hey, I found you. I knew exactly then that something was so special about you. We thank you all for joining us this evening for a monumental occasion, the bonding and marriage of two wonderful people, Victoria and Brian. Today, two roads merge together. Today, two friends will become one. Today, two hearts will beat as one. Their lives will be intertwined in a lifelong commitment and covenant relationship. The love of their youth will set sail to a new horizon. Today a new door will be opened and two souls will walk through that door hand in hand. <laughs> and now by the power vested in me by Almighty God in the state of Texas, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss your bride. <laughs> Introducing the maid of honor, Sabrina. She's gonna come up here and say a few words. 
You two have managed to find your other halves, and all of us here today are lucky enough to have been able to experience it with you. Brian randomly bringing you flowers, seeing you dance, and losing yourself and one another in public, and witnessing you build your everyday lives together gives me a new hope and love again. You welcome people into your life like family, and I can't wait to be there when you start your own one day. If I'm not crying by now, I definitely will be after this. <laughs> But it was at that moment where I knew that we'd be boys for life. So while Brian and I and May both have a great sense of style, taste in music, and a, a love for chess day, there are a few things that Brian has inspired and taught me that I'm very grateful for. First, his dance moves. I mean, obviously he caught Tori's attention, right? Second thing that uh, has inspired me by Brian is his love for Tori. The way he looks at her, the way he smiles at her, the way that he always finds a way to talk about her whenever she's not there and say, guys, I don't know how I got so lucky. She says, I still don't know either myself. So, hey, man, just keep on doing what you're doing, brother. <laughs> Brian and Tor, these two beautiful, amazing people, are completely inseparable and just complement each other so perfectly. I will say that when I first met Tori, she was just a radiant sun, in all honesty. You were absolutely beautiful, the energy you put out. You literally chose me out of a crowd and was like, you, come here, we're gonna be best friends. And that was it for me. Um, and to see just such a beautiful woman like you, just like, grow up so much before my eyes. And to see you, so fucking happy. I'm so sorry, excuse me, I'm so happy. So happy, so sorry. Just, and to know that you found a man, such a gorgeous and beautiful man, on the inside and out, is just everything that I could have ever asked for for you. Sorry.